Byron, you always warn our viewers about that. If you hear thunder, take cover. Right? You got it right. Get inside. You don't mm -hmm. want to be near a tree, anywhere outside. It's just way too dangerous. We got some active weather out okay. there right now, Royal. Pretty cool stuff. Let's check this out and let's get right to the maps and show you what's going on. And we can see right now that here in the metro, we're dealing with temperatures that are in the warm to hot and sticky side, 91 degrees. And the humidity up, the winds are calm. But I want you to notice something on this live cam. This is from our KYT7 studios, Carlisle and Comanche looking off to these. And you see this kind of gray right here? That is a rain shaft, folks, of a storm. And I'm going to show you a closer look at that in just a moment. First, you see most of the action today across central and western areas, as expected. The east is pretty quiet, warm to hot temperatures out there. Now, New Mexico's only live radar, live super Doppler. Here is that storm. This is what we're looking at as we look east toward the mountains. You see it is rolling through the Tejeras Canyon right now, and this is looking like it'll head into the foothills and perhaps areas around the Four Hills area and the far eastern parts of Albuquerque around I-40 and Tramway. So stay inside and uh, away from windows, as we always say, and always avoid arroyos, ditches, water-covered roads. Scattered showers and thunderstorms from southwest Colorado into northern New Mexico over the Sacramento, or I should say the Sangre de Cristo Mountains, the San Juan Mountains too. You see some of that around Taos and also Los Alamos. In south and southwest New Mexico, scattered storms working away from Silver City into the southwest mountains right now, Las Cruces, and around Alamogordo, some showers and storms rolling off the Sacramento Mountains there in southern New Mexico. And some storms beginning to work toward the Carlsbad area. Well, did you see it this morning? Officially at 525, that supermoon. This is a beautiful shot just to the east of El Dorado. And and you can see uploaded to our U local page at KOAT.com. We're going to have another chance of a big moon out there for tonight. Won't be the official super moon, but you can still check it out. That moonrise at 831. Evening planner shows that we'll see that slight chance of storms throughout the evening here in the metro. Keep an eye out on the east side where we have the storms pushing through. A surge of moisture and cooler air working into the east for tomorrow. Watch what happens. A better chance of showers and storms for places like Santa Rosa, Tucumcari, and also into northeast New Mexico, Raton, and Las Vegas. And for Monday, it looks like a very very active day for many parts of New Mexico with the added moisture and temperatures maybe not quite as hot in many areas. In the southeast, pretty toasty, a chance of storms Carlsbad this evening, and then better chances for tomorrow across portions of the Sacramento Mountains and also southern areas of New Mexico. Into the southwest, we're looking at isolated scattered storms from Socorro into TRC Silver City for tomorrow, so keep an eye to the sky, and if you hear thunder, take cover. Same situation across the Four Corners region, Durango, Farmington, Gallup, and Grants. Watch out for those scattered storms during the afternoon hours. A pretty active day in northern New Mexico, not is hot either. 78 in Santa Fe with scattered storms, 78 in Taos tomorrow, 69 in Red River, and very active from Raton, Las Vegas into Edgewood, the East Mountains, Moriarty, and Santa Rosa. Looks like a good chance of some heavy downpours. Some of those could have some locally heavy rain and perhaps even some minor flooding in some areas. Upper 80s to low 90s right here in the metro with scattered storms tomorrow. This evening, that chance of scattered evening showers and storms. Otherwise, keep an eye out for that supermoon, that moonrise at 831. And we're going to see good chances of rain the next several days with perhaps an uptick for your Monday, again on Wednesday, before things dry out by late in the week toward the weekend. But Watch out on the east side, tramway and uh, also I-40 right now. We're seeing the storms work through the Four mm. Hills area. Okay, thanks, Byron. Yep.